Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. And today we have an exciting video for you. As you all know, in the previous two months, I have uploaded a video called uh, I made Jarvis using Python programming language. This was Hills Hit. And many of you requested a tutorial to learn how to build it yourself. So, in this series, we will be walking you through the step by step process. In today's video, we'll start by setting up our IDE and making the engine together. So, let's dive right in it. So, first, let's choose the IDE. Now, there are lots of IDE in the market like Python, Visual Studio Code, and many more. But, uh, I'm going to recommend you to use ES Studio Code. You can use other whatever you like, but uh, I'd like to recommend you to use VS Code because it is uh, very easy to use it and it is highly customizable with some extension which makes our work a lot easier and it is highly popular also. Okay, so to install VS Code, open a new tab and search for VS Code and then head over to code.visualstudio.com I will find it in the description too and then download it for your first platform. Okay, so now I have already installed it, so I'm going to cancel and open my VS Code. Okay, the uh, user interface of VS Studio Code will look like this. Uh, so now we need to import folder first. So click on file or you can do like open folder over here directly or you can do like click on file and click on open folder and open a folder. Uh, if you don't have an order, then create a new one. Right click new and folder. Okay, so now I have a folder called AI in which I'm going to create Jarvis. Okay, so now you can see AI has been uh, written over here, which is the uh, folder name. Okay, so now I have opened the folder in the BC Studio. So let's uh, create a new file by clicking this file icon over here. Okay. Let's name it. You can name whatever you want. So let me write Jarvis.py. So now we have created a Python file. So uh, you can do, you can name whatever you want. .py extension is compulsory. So after that, we need a module called PyTTSH3 to convert any type of text into speech. Again, okay. so to install that module, we on terminal. Click on new terminal if you are in VS Code, then write pip install by ITTSS3. Hit enter and it's going to dial all the things in your document. Now I have downloaded it in my document, so I'm going to import it by writing input. PyTTSS3. Yeah, now we have successfully imported PyTTSS3 in our document. Now we will define a variable called ending. Ending equals will write PyTTSS3 dot init, which is a function. Okay, so after that, we need to uh, define another variable called voices. Voices equals engine dot we want to get the property voice so we write get property voices we're, and then we write engine dot set property will set the voice voice and uh we'll write a comma and then we will write voices dot zero dot id for that we're going to uh set a rate like uh Whenever you play this video on 1.5x playback speed, then the video will be a bit faster. Like this, we have read in uh, our DTSS module. We got ending dot set property, and we will write rect, and we will get a value. I think 300 is okay. So now we have set up the engine. So now we can make our Jarvis to say hello world by using speak, uh, like say function. So we write engine dot say and we will pass the value over here. Hello world. And then we will write engine dot run and wait, which is a function. Let's run it. Hello world. Okay. Now 
or zarvis uh like it's basically like a text to switch converter okay so now our zarvis can speak okay so now we need to write engine dot say so this is uh like kind of difficult so now we're going to make it a lot easier let's control x over here uh, let's go out from here and define a function called talk and inside the parameter we'll pass text which is the value and here we will paste the same code and in the hello world we will pass the text so now we know we want our jar to spit something then we can write talk and we can pass the value over here hello world my name my name is Jarvis and now let's run hello world my name is Jarvis okay so if you want female voice then you can do like this uh you can send this zero to one and it will be hello okay. world my name is Jarvis and you will get the female voice okay so yeah that's most fun this kid's video now we have made our engine speakable uh, by using PyTTS module and then it's pretty looking to make our Jarvis to various by using using speaker tabinization module so now this series is going to be a lot of more interesting uh again so don't forget to subscribe and turn the bell notification so that you will never miss any update so yeah as well as for today's video comes in next week <laughs>